Amazon is keeping everyone guessing about the site of its $5 billion HQ2 project. Nowhere more than in the 20 cities in the finals for the facility and the 50,000 jobs that go with it. Our Scott Cohn is in one of those cities, Miami, the next stop on our Amazon race tour. This is getting exciting, Scott. It sure is. The suspense is building, Carl. Uh, you know, Miami would certainly give Amazon balance. It would have corporate headquarters on opposite ends of the country, site Seattle and Miami, though there is no indication that that is part of the company's calculus. Here's something that is, though, transportation, and Miami has that in spades, with three international airports in the space of 70 miles and extensive mass transit, including a rail network that will eventually go all the way to Orlando with a station right here at the Miami World Center project where we are, this project already under construction. Uh, so that could be a possible site. It's one of the things that's being offered here. So if Amazon, as we think that it does, wants to expand its presence in Latin America, well, this would be a great jumping off point. We're in great shape with respect to transportation, both uh, national and international tra transportation via air, as well as what you need to do locally as the, the workers start to uh, get established here and are looking to commute to and from work. So that is a positive in our uh, location section of our Amazon race report card uh, for Miami, where we use our 2018 America's Top States for Business data and other government statistics to grade all of these finalists based on Amazon's stated criteria. So Miami gets a uh, B-plus for location. That grade got down a bit by high cost as offsetting some of the transportation advantages. An A-plus for population, a B-plus for stability and business friendliness, but a C-plus for talent because Amazon has a distinct shortage of tech workers, although Miami did produce one very important, very successful tech worker in one Jeff Bezos, the 1982 valedictorian of Palmetto High School. Maybe that's a home court advantage. We'll see. We'll be talking later on today on Power Lunch with Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez, who will uh, react to our grades, perhaps tell us why this city is a good bet for Amazon HQ2. And a reminder, we've got report cards on all 20 finalists at topstates.cnbc.com. Guys? Scott, uh, Jeff Bezos, the valedictorian in high school, also talked about space and coloni colonization uh, in that graduation speech. It's a couple hours away from the Space Coast, uh, and Blue Origin has certainly been ramping up efforts there. Is there any reason to believe that some of the other ventures of Bezos could play into where he decides to go? Well, you know, that's that's a lot of speculation has surrounded Washington, D.C. because of that, because he owns the Washington Post. He has a home there. Uh, we really don't know, for example, how is Amazon going to divide the responsibilities between the two headquarters? If, for example, uh, it wants to look at Latin America from, from here, as we, as, we, uh, as we referenced, maybe this is a good spot. But what if people have to go back and forth between site Seattle and HQ2 quite a bit? And do they really want to make the long trip to opposite ends of the country? We don't know because Amazon is not saying exactly how it's going to divide the responsibilities, exactly what, where the priorities lie beyond those kind of four main criteria that the company laid out last year when it first announced this. So a lot of it's a guessing game. Everybody's guessing. And uh, here in Miami, they think they got a decent shot. Well, let the guessing continue. We, uh, we love your reports from all of these different cities. Scott Cohen, thank you for joining us from Miami.